apply and welcome to Sparkle Chart. Hey there gorgeous people, it's Kate here today and I am so excited to show you my new toy. Thank you so much to Cricut for sending me this beautiful Cricut maker and I can't wait to show you the first few projects I've created whilst I taught myself how to use this gorgeous little beastie. Honestly, it's so pretty um, and it's so versatile. So let me show you the first seven projects I've made with my Cricut maker right out of the box. And the only extra thing you'll need is a little bit of vinyl. When Cricut approached me about making this video, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make some custom planner tabs and dashboard artwork. So let me show you how I made all of these with a quick look at the design space software for both the computer and the iPad. And all of the projects I've done are quite simple. There's nothing super fancy. You can do this yourself and I'll show you how and you can get some fantastic results. Now I've also made all of the designs I've created available through Design Space and there's links on my blog so that you can just download them yourself if you don't wanna to have to fuss about with things. But I'm also going to show you how you can do it for yourself and how simple it really is. So let's get started as I use my Cricut Maker for the very first time and I'm super excited to show you what I've created. Okay, come on, let's get started. Let's start our first project by turning on the Cricut Maker. Now, this project is going to be one of the simplest things we can do. Select a pre-made design or add text to the canvas and click Make It. Set the material size and then go ahead and choose your material when the options pop up on screen. I'm going to choose Vinyl. Follow the instructions and the on-screen prompts and you'll be printing in no time. This part's super simple, you just follow the flashing buttons. I had to press the load button, then the Cricut button to tell it to cut, and then at the end, the load button again, which unloads the mat with the acrylic. Now, in this particular project, I'm testing if it can cope with small text. Now, I have to say, I was super surprised in a really great way. The Cricut Maker cut the text for these little planner dashboard tabs super precisely there was not a letter out of place it was perfect so now that i've picked all the extra bits of acrylic off it's time to add these to my project now i've chosen to use three different kinds of vinyl for all of the projects i'm about to show you permanent glossy black holographic and shimmer gold you'll need to use transfer tape to transfer your little vinyl words onto the planner tabs I've cut mine so that it's sim similar size to the actual uh, words that I'm transferring. I'm using the little spatula to make sure it's stuck well and then press it down really firmly onto the planner tab and then remove the transfer tape. You'll see you get a perfect little result. Now, some of these letters had really fine little um, edges like the edges of the E. It's best if when removing the tape, you drag it in the opposite directions so go from left to right so that you don't lift up any of those tiny little um, sections on the letters this was the only trouble I had and for my first project right out of the box I am super happy with how this looks it looks just like I bought one now I'm going to try some of the fancier features in the Cricut design space I've added two images from the image library and I've ungrouped the one that says positive mind I'm just popping the yoga pose behind the eye and selecting both images together. Then click that weld button. That makes those two images into one and it will print as one image just like this. So that is a super cool feature. Weld has come in really handy with all of the projects I'm about to show you. Once you've picked all the little bits off, it's time to add it to your planner dashboard or your card or journal cover whatever it is that you're making this for. Now with large images like this, I found that it's easier to stick it to the mat and then add the transfer tape, just so that you don't get any bubbles and it's easier to get it nice and flat and beautiful. Once you've peeled off the backing of the transfer tape, it's time to stick it to your surface. Now, it's best to wait about five minutes before peeling off that top layer of transfer tape. Some images are easier than others, and I found that because my plastic surface was a little bit textured, this was not the easiest first project. 
but it looks gorgeous. So that is my Positive Mind Planner dashboard. Now I'm going to try out the duplicate feature. Basically, it clones an image so that you can have two exactly the same. I'm going to use that weld feature once again to turn this into a single heart with sort of like heartbeats next to it. Then I'm going to add some text. I'm just typing it in myself. Nothing fancy here. Make sure that you pick a font that, you know, looks pretty and does what you want. Then I'm going to use one of the fantastic features in the Cricut design space. It's called Slice. Basically, it's like a little digital scalpel and it cuts pieces out of another image. So all you need to do is delete the bits you don't need and you get this fantastic image with health cut right into the heart. No fuss, no muss. So simple. Now, using the transfer tape, I'm going to apply it to my planner dashboard. Again, wait five minutes. And because the tiny little cuts on the edge here where I did those little heartbeats are so small, you might need to be a little bit more careful when you remove the tape. But absolute perfection. So, so simple. So slice and weld, so far my two favorite things. But now I want to get fancy and try offset. What does this do? This makes those cool outlines that you can use for stickers or images. So just click the offset button. But you'll see because my image has a hole in the middle, so does my design. So what you'll need to do is click the contour button. This lets you select the piece you'd like to remove. Just highlight the bit you don't want to cut. Close the window and you'll see it's now perfect. Is that not the easiest and best thing out there? So cool. Now, what I have discovered is it would have been better if I had made the little piggy, the top layer, in the gold because the gold shimmer vinyl, other things find it a little bit difficult to stick on top of it, but I didn't know that before. I know that now. So in the image I've made for all of you in Design Space, I've changed those colors around. But even though it's a little bit difficult or a little bit more challenging than normal, wait five minutes. Of course, I've got cat assistance as with all my projects. Carefully remove your image and then use the little burnishing or scraping tool to make sure that those two images are together. Now it's time to get a little fancy. I'm using slice to cut little pieces off a flourish image that I've grabbed from the design library. I'd like to have some uh, fancy text. You can see what I've done with the word wander. I've added a little bit of something something to the end of the R and the beginning of the W, but I didn't want to have to fuss about with fonts. So I've used the slice tool to cut up a little flourish into several pieces. I've then rotated the pieces and resized them and added them over the top of the end of the R and the beginning of the W. I've then used that weld feature that I've shown you before to turn it into the one image. So simple and no mucking around with fancy fonts. Once you've printed it, again, just follow the on-screen instructions. This is the easiest thing to do to make a beautiful title or planner page. I can imagine using this in my art journal as well and adding beautiful lettering right over the top of a page in all sorts of different options because of course you can use any kind of vinyl that you can get for your Cricut Maker and add it to your page. Shimmer, glitter, matte, clear if you wanted to get super fancy and do exciting things. The most difficult thing about this was it didn't really want to release all as one part. So when I've used the transfer tape, what I've done is I've then cut it into three different sections and done it piece by piece. Now, this is probably because I'm such a newbie on here. There's probably some trick I've yet to learn with larger pieces, but as a newbie, all I had to do was cut it into smaller pieces to make it exactly perfect. And that wasn't exactly difficult. <laughs> so peel, have a little patience, go slow. And if anything's not releasing quite as quickly as you'd like or quite as perfectly, wait again that five minutes before removing the transfer, the little shiny bit of the transfer tape and you'll have a perfect result every time. Sometimes that waiting is the worst part, but when it looks like this, why on earth would it really worry you? Now for this last, well, second last one, I'm mixing my vinyl and my art supplies. So I've got a beautiful coffee cup image that I've grabbed from the design library 
and I've printed this in my sparkle gold, my shimmer gold, sparkle, shimmer. I've then added some masking fluid in a little shape and I'm adding some alcohol inks. Normally you don't apply these with your finger, but because I didn't want to get it all over the backing, um, I've just kept it in that little, little cloud above the coffee cup. Once it's all dry, remove the masking fluid. Tidy up with a Copic blending marker, just so that you don't get any nasty yucky bits. You can see how cool this looks, but it's about to look even better because I've got my second cut that I've done with little holographic love hearts. And usually I would use the transfer tape, but I wanted it a bit more random. So I've used the little picker to just add these individually and see how pretty that looks. Loving this. So don't ever just think you're limited to using your Cricut for what you can see on screen. Mix it with your art. Do whatever you want to do with it. It makes some beautiful results and this is super cool and exactly what I was hoping I could do. Now, for my very last project, I've gotten fancy. I've used the same slice that I've shown you before, but I've done several layers. Now, because slice can only, hold, only coat with two images at a time, you cut out one tree, then another tree, then another tree, and then add the moon until it looks like what you're after. I'm calling this multi-slice. And that is my last project. And you can see how all of these look in my planner. I could not have bought something like this without having to pay for a custom creation. But this was so fast. Now, these are the very first things I've made um, right out of the box with just three colors of vinyl. I could have used less. No training, no experience. Right just from scratch and I am so chuffed with how amazing this looks could not have been more perfect so thank you so much Cricut I have just loved playing with the beautiful Cricut maker